Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be unboxing a art doll. I'm so excited to show her to you. She is so gorgeous in real life, which I was worried about because sometimes photographs and real life uh, don't match up. And she looked so pretty in the Instagram pictures. I swear to you, the doll just possessed me to buy her. Uh, you will understand why I use the word possessed when you see her. She is a little creepy and I kind of like that. I bought this doll from a fellow doll artist called Anastasia aka Fuka Eri Love on Instagram. I actually know her work through retro dolls, swaps, I was her partner, I made her a doll, it was the showgirls master swap. And I really like the fact that now I have a doll from her and she has a doll from me. Anastasia lives in Russia, so this doll came all the way from Russia to Finland. Surprisingly, the shipping took less than two weeks. I fell in love with this doll immediately when I saw her pictures on my Instagram feed. And I was so broke, I had like zero money and I actually commented that on her post. And that was on Friday. And then I remembered that I got money on Monday, that I will get money on Monday. And I was so worried that someone else was going to snatch her up, so I messaged her on Etsy, like, hey, hi, could you possibly do a layaway for me? And she was like, yeah, of course. And I paid her like a deposit on Friday and the rest on Monday, and that is how we rolled with it. Now I'm just slicing over <laughs> slicing open the box okay now we get to open it dun, 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 not yet there was some piece of cardboard that I didn't know was like a like a little lid or something and I was trying to cut it off and then I realized, ah, uh, I don't have to. Here we go. And there's just some paper to keep the doll from, I don't know, floating around in there. And then some plastic wrap. Oh, here she is. Oh my god. I was like so nervous when opening this. And here is the certificate of authenticity and all the details about the doll. Uh, she didn't name her, so I guess I get to do that. I'm thinking of giving her a Russian name, so if you have a good name suggestion, leave them down below. And now we are like so close at seeing her. Come on, be faster. <laughs> Do -do -do, we are getting closer, almost, almost there. Oh. I'm so excited. Oh. Here she is. Her little headpiece just, I don't know, got moved and slided off a little bit, so I'm fixing that now, right now. Oh, just her face. It's so pretty. Just look at that face. Oh. And look at that little cross, that is like the most perfect little detail ever. And then her dress, and she's just wearing uh, black, black heels. She's a spectra doll, as you can see from the transparent legs and hands. 
I wasn't really sure about the transparent hands, but I think they kind of work. She's a little ghostly and her hair is so soft. I like it a lot. And Anastasia has this really cool technique where she can get the hair a little, like really flat and smooth against the doll's head. And then her little like bonnet. I don't know what's that called. Maybe not a bonnet, but some headpiece. Oh, she is so pretty. And then some better shots of her in a better lighting. Look at that face. Oh my god, I can't get over it. And the clothes are so nice. Uh, they are removable, I just didn't do that, but there's velcro um, on the back of the dress. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't yet done that. Like this video and leave a comment. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Me at Josephine's Creatures and Anastasia at Fuka I Love. See you guys very soon. I have loads of videos planned out. Until next time, bye!